Hello everyone. So there was a question today um, on the community, and uh, the question is from Wendy Chen, and uh, the question is actually very simple. And I thought I'll probably create a video to answer this because why not? And from time to time, I look at automation rules. All the automation rules is very simple to use, but to be honest, uh, if you don't look at one specific feature in Jira for like two weeks. There will be something new. So, uh, from time to time, I do make a make it a point to go back to my automation rules list, or maybe just answer some of the questions on the community about automation rules. So, the question is that whenever an epic is created in Jira, the requirement is to create uh, five stories under it, and uh, those stories should be under that particular epic. So, it should be linked to it, right? Now, uh, it is very simple. All you need need to do. Because using automation rules, you can definitely create uh, issues of a specific type. But if you're trying to create, uh, let us say, a story, then you need to ensure that uh, there is an epic link. Now, this epic link could be fetched from uh, the epic that you just created, and that is something called as uh, the trigger issue, the issue which is uh, triggering this rule. Now, I have already uh, created this rule for you. So, if you look at this particular rule, we have here the so first of all the rule details. Make sure whenever you are trying to play with automation rules, try to limit the scope to single project, which is my Android project. And then the trigger is uh, issue created. And then of course I don't really want this rule to run every time. I want this to run when the epic is created, when one of the epic is created, or whenever you create an epic in that particular project. And when this happens, then of course this rule will uh, work. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to create two stories. Story number one, which is uh, here, and I'm making sure that I'm populating the epic link field here, which can be copied from the uh, trigger issue. So there is uh, this option here. Similarly, one more story. Let me create one more uh, story for you. So this would be a new action create uh, issue i want to create uh, the story i want to ensure that the epic link is populated and we have to populate this uh, from uh, the trigger issue so before that i will enter here story 3 right and epic link can be copied you can of course hard code it but why would you hard code uh, we, we actually want to copy it from the trigger issue right now, this is it, right? And you can just save it, publish it, and if you go back to your, uh, uh, let us create a let us let us create an epic, right? Why not? So this is my epic, which I want to create another epic, and I don't really fill anything else. I'll just directly click on the create button, and uh, when this happens, of course, uh, I can monitor the rule, uh, or rather the log. And it says in progress, in progress, and hopefully it will take if I refresh. Now it is success, right? Wonderful. So the issue that was uh, actually created by us, the epic, is this one. If I open this, it will definitely show the epic, uh, epic, uh, another epic with hopefully three stories. So it's a very simple thing that you can do with a uh, uh, very simple rule. Very simple automation rule that you can build using uh, automation rules. And now you have it. Perfect, right? All right. That is all. That is all I wanted to talk about and share in this video. I hope.